Hello guys, welcome back. We've uh, just had a little walk, me and Simon, uh, about half a mile or so um, out to the riverfront here and we're at Sean Mead Fort. Now, if you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you may have, uh, remember me coming here ages ago, going down into the tunnels. If I have any footage left, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll put that in because we're not going down into them today. We've not got the lights set up and everything. But um, yeah, it's an interesting little fall, yeah. isn't it? What's left of it? Yeah, <laughs> bit, bit graffiti, but that's often the case, isn't it? Yeah, easy to get to once you get in this sort of condition. But uh, we've had a little wander around here, looking at all the bits and bobs, and uh, we're going to mosey on down the river, past Cliff Fort and um, Coalhouse Fort on the other side of the river over in Essex as well. Obviously, this was a, an artery into London, the Thames here, so. These were put up with the uh, fret from France and then modified during the Second World War with watchtowers and things. So yeah, we're going to go on down that way, um, pass a uh, gunpowder factory as well that's used during the war and find a nice little beach that I've camped on before. And uh, yeah, and the sun should come out at some point. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to get going. Right, we've come probably about halfway along our walk and in the background there you can see Cliff Fort which we're heading towards now but uh, we just stopped for some lunch. Simon's got some noodles, noodles of noodles. And fish. <laughs> oh and fish. <laughs> I suppose it's appropriate we're between a lake and uh, the Thames and I've got a yeah spag bowl which I'll mash up and uh, open up.
You've probably seen it in a couple of my older videos, but this is an older torpedo launcher. Very early sort of torpedo that was guided by wire. Never used in anger, but uh, good to see one remaining. This is an old kiln, brick kiln, if you can hear me with this wind. You can see the individual circles here, the individual kilns for burning and down below you've got where the fire goes. And uh, it's pretty high up. <laughs> Simon, you can just about see the fort, which unfortunately you can't really get into due to the aggregate work that you can hear. Just stop for a minute, Simon's gonna do a bit of droning. <laughs> and I've got some sun cream, because that sun's out now. And uh, yeah, probably put a hat on too. We've just stopped for a minute at the uh, gunpowder factory here. It's uh, lots of tiny buildings scattered around a large area of the marshes here. Um, not been in use for a very long time, but they're scattered around, so if one ignites and explodes, then the others are safe. And I believe that did happen once or twice down here and did take a few lives. Simon's just, uh, it's all private land, but Simon's just gone to a close by spot just to take a couple of shots. But um, I've been here before in the past, I think in a couple of videos, and uh, got a few shots of the place as well. Very interesting, all the different styles of buildings, ones covered in earth and stuff as well. But yeah, I'm just taking a little rest while he's doing that, and then we're going to work on down the river here till we reach the bay we're going to camp at. See much? Yeah. Yeah, there's some quite cool circular buildings over there and some kind of blast shelters.
Oh, oh man. <laughs> the last part of that walk was grueling. Got blisters. I think these boots are at the end of their life. But we're here. <laughs> we're here. I think we're both pretty paralysed, but we're here at the beach. Oh, a couple of hours of light just to collect some firewood for dinner. But yeah, I'm just glad we're here, to be honest. <laughs> Gonna rest for a minute and get some of this firewood together. And somebody's left some stones here by the looks of things, so should help with this wind we've got at the moment. Got my new-ish tent, unused anyway. Um, it's the Van Gogh Helium 2 uh, F10. So technically a two-man tent, but um, yeah, I don't think you'd want to use it as a two-man, but it is ultra light and as you can see, very small. So I'm looking forward to uh, trying this out tonight. Yep, yeah, that's perfect, thank you. Let it? Yeah, that's cool. Ah. That's the hole. There <laughs> we go, we'll use that wedge though. Mm -hmm. I think when that wind is dying down a tad actually. I think it is. Just in the nick of time.
<laughs> That's needed. <laughs> so is this. Yeah. Chilling down a bit now, isn't it? Yeah. So we, well, you figured it out how many miles or I, kilometers? I think we did. I think we did about 15 miles, possibly a bit more. I think. Without it, the backtracking. And without, <laughs> yeah, there's, you know, we, we were exploring, weren't we? And in and out and filming and all the rest of it. You do walk a bit further. I think if you know anybody else is doing this walk, it wouldn't be that long, would it? No, no. <laughs> as well. Yeah. Well, it did feel like 15 miles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling it. My shoulders and my ankles and my feet. It's going to be good to eat. <laughs> yeah, get some, get some food on in a minute. What's get on the menu? Going. We've got uh, we've got a kind of corned beef hash stew. Mm. Uh, just chuck it all in a pan, basically, and see what happens. Sounds perfect. <laughs> Hearty. <laughs> yeah. That's what we need. Yeah, definitely. I was going to do bread, but oh, we've sort of run out of time, really. Yeah. Yeah. We'd, be, we'd, be, we'd be eating until, until midnight, would we? Isn't it weird? It's so peaceful, but then sometimes you just hear a noise from the uh, port over on the other side of the river. A great big clatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like a container being dropped down. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's nice. It's lovely here. Oh, I do love it down here. Yeah. Cheers everyone. <laughs> Shrivel a ladle. Yeah. I didn't fancy carrying it. Oh, I need this so bad. Yeah, sorry, there's no real ch <laughs> chunks of meat in it. That's it's quite alright. Like, um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to dip a bit of mine and sort of like pour out some of the sauce. Some of the gravy kind of thing. I can feel the heat from that fire from here. Heck, we've got a bonfire going on.
<laughs> the old man noises. Yeah. Good morning. We were up quite early. And Simon woke me up with his drone. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the fire's going, so it's good. It's uh, been a bit chilly this morning. A bit clouded yeah. over, but the sun's starting to peak out now. Oh, you sleep all right? I did. I woke up. I woke up two or three times in the early hours. Um, not not from being uncomfortable or cold or anything, but I don't know why. Just woke up. Yeah, I was just tossing. It was bright, wasn't over. it? But yeah, yeah, the moon, Pretty full moon, bright. was so bright last night. Oh. Yeah. But yes, well rested, ready for the day, except for my blisters. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I suppose I should do us some breakfast, shouldn't I? Yes, please. Seeing as you fed us last night. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Shak Shakshuka. 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 Shakshuka time. On with our grill. Last bit of oil. This is how prepared I am. Pre-cut veg. Uh, well you don't have to bring the extra weight then, do you? Yeah. <laughs> We've got uh, onion, garlic and pepper in there. Oh, look at that, it's like the perfect amount for the pan. Did a little spice blend of cumin, paprika, salt, uh, the mild chili powder as well here, and some pepper as well. Should do. Mm. Definitely something different from breakfast, eh? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, them colours. And some more tomatoes. See how that is. The idea here is to make kind of divots for eggs to sit in. More or less. Oh, overflow. No. It's your one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that beauty. And then to try and use this just to let them steam. Should do like that. Yeah. 
Okay, the careful reveal. Almost there. Is that coriander? I love coriander. Wow. Probably one of my favourite herbs. Ditto. That looks proper lush, that does. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take that off. Let's warm through some of our pitters. of pitters for you. Fantastic. And that'd be the wrong one, the wrong handle. <laughs> <laughs> Et voila. Lovely. I'm thinking <laughs> do these open? They probably do, don't they? All kind of oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so hot. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of worked. And yeah, my thinking is, I'll, I'll have this one that went wrong. Uh, I don't have that one. But if you insist. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? I need three hands. Something like that. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> or I guess you could dip if you prefer. Yeah, both. Need a hand being served. Uh, it's helpful to have two hands for the, well, pitta. Yeah. You want to do what I did? Yeah, I think so. Go for it, load me up. Fantastic. A bit more of the... Superb. That's good. Oh, cheers, man. Cheers. I feel mm. like I'm on holiday, mm. on mm. the beach. Mm. Mm. Something different for breakfast. That's lovely. Sorry, Simon, walk in front of the camera. Hey. Okay. Said so it's alright, Simon, walk in front of the camera. That's us all done, we've cleaned up, we've uh, put out the fire, we're leaving the fire pit because it's here when we came. And yeah, it's been a good one. Lovely spot this to come back to. 
You agree? Absolutely. Absolutely loved it here. It's been great. Yeah, good spot. Really well, good spot. We're off now and we're going to go do another overnighter in another location. So that's going to be another video. So check in for that and uh, check out Simon's video as well. See you all soon.